want you to think back to the last time you taught a grammar lesson that left your students feeling ready to apply the skills you covered and left you feeling like it was a very successful lesson. If it's been a while, don't worry, you're not alone. Grammar is so challenging to teach in our classrooms for a few different reasons, which is why I wanna share with you our tried and true grammar instruction structure. Talk about a tongue twister. That completely changed how I teach grammar in my classroom in just 10 minutes a day. One of the greatest struggles in grammar instruction is finding a time and a place to teach it in your day. Our time is valuable and our time is limited. For a really long time, I taught grammar lessons in my writer's workshop. I mean, grammar, writing, they truly go hand in hand. However, I found that my students were not gleaning enough from these lessons and they definitely were not applying what I was teaching into their writing and that's the goal of our grammar instruction. We cover grammar to help our students perform as better writers. That's why step number one is to get your grammar lessons out of your writer's workshop. We suggest giving grammar its own time in your day. Again, time is precious, which is why all of our grammar lessons are designed to be taught in just 10 minutes a day. If you can find that 10 minutes every day of the week, I promise it's gonna change how you teach grammar. The next important thing to think about when you're overhauling your grammar instruction is how you're going to cover grammar in just 10 minutes a day. We all know that 10 minutes can absolutely fly by in the classroom. That's why we like to break grammar instruction down into the tiniest parts. Instead of trying to teach everything about nouns in one lesson, I'm going to teach just nouns. And then in the later lessons, I'm gonna talk about common and proper nouns. And then later lessons, I'm gonna talk about how my nouns have to agree with my verbs. And then in later lessons, I'm gonna hit pronouns. Instead of trying to cover everything at once, we are going to tackle grammar one small 10 minute mini lesson at a time. Up next is to think about what you're gonna do five days a week with 10 minutes of grammar instruction. Now, if you think about it, you're gonna end up doing 50 minutes of grammar instruction across the course of a week. And I don't know about you, but that is way more grammar instruction than my students were getting with my sporadic grammar lessons sprinkled through my writer's workshop. We start at the beginning of the week with Monday. The first thing you wanna do on Monday is introduce the skill that your students are going to be working on all week. So if it's the week we introduce adjectives, we wanna start with a simple, straightforward mini lesson. It's going to introduce adjectives and give your students opportunities to practice with them. For my Monday mini lesson, I always invite my students to come to the carpet with me and they bring their whiteboards so they can practice identifying and giving me examples of adjectives on our very first day of instruction. Day two of that grammar mini lesson is one of my favorites because I always do an interactive notebook activity. The reason I love an interactive notebook activity is because it becomes a resource for my students for them to continue to refer to throughout the year, long after I finish that week of instruction. Now, I know what you're thinking. Anytime students are handed scissors and glue, it triples the amount of time it's gonna take for the task. That's why it's really important to build those procedures at the beginning of the year. I use my Tuesday interactive notebook activities as a race to see who can quickly get them prepped and glued into their grammar journals. Then we get to practice the skill together as a class, creating that resource that they can then refer back to. Wednesday's mini lesson focus is one of the most important pieces because Wednesday is when students are going to be applying the grammar skill in the explicit context of writing. That's our goal, remembering grammar instruction. We want our students to grow and apply these skills in their own writing. So the way I like to run Wednesdays in my classroom is on the opposite page of that interactive notebook activity, students are gonna be doing writing prompts that match the skill. Students are gonna be writing three or four short, quick sentences that include that grammar focus for the week. The next step is great because then they get to trade with a neighbor, they read someone else's writing, and they are then going to identify that grammar skill that we've been working on all week. This is great because they're exposed to other students' writing, they're practicing the skill, and it's a great way for you to pop around and check in with students. Thursday grammar instruction is all about task cards. I 
love using task cards in the classroom because it gets students up and out of their seats, moving around and engaging with the content. Now again, I know what you're thinking. As soon as students are required to move somewhere, it's adding time to your task. That's why building those expectations are so important for running this grammar structure successfully. For task cards, I know students only have 10 minutes to work on them. So instead of rushing to get all 20 finished, I send students to answer as many as they can. Then we quickly check them all together as a class and they only check the answers of the questions that they were able to get to. I love these grammar task cards because they're short, sweet, to the point, and a great identifier of students who are mastering your skill. We've officially made it to Friday, every teacher's favorite day of the week. And Friday in grammar is my assessment day. This is the day when I wanna check in with students and see if they've mastered our skill. At this point, students have had 40 minutes of instruction on the skill, and it's a tiny, tiny piece of the skill, which means we are ready to assess. See which students have mastered that piece of your grammar instruction, and which students might need more support moving forward. Because we're focusing on such a small piece of a skill, I want an assessment that's going to be very clear, and very to the point. I don't need students to answer 25 questions for me to know whether they can identify a noun in a sentence. I really only need them to answer maybe 10 questions. That's why these assessments from our grammar bundle are my favorite thing to use on Fridays. And we have made it to the end, five days, 50 minutes of instruction, and a group of students who have mastered a grammar skill. This pattern of instruction is what I use all year long. I end up doing this over like 36 weeks of the school year because it works. I've been so impressed with my students' ability to take these grammar skills and apply them in their own writing. This has been so much more successful for me than just sprinkling grammar lessons in with my writing workshop instruction. It's quick, it's straightforward, and after a few weeks of this, your students are gonna be super comfortable with the structure and schedule. They're gonna know exactly what's coming on Thursday. They'll have their clipboards and pencils ready to go for those task cards. That's why we love to build a routine around here. If you're looking for any of the resources I shared today, they are all from our grammar bundles. We have year long grammar bundles of instruction for second grade, third grade, fourth grade, and fifth grade that come with all of these pieces. So you get the Monday lesson, Tuesday interactive notebook journal, Wednesday's writing prompt, Thursday's set of task card, and Friday's assessment. These are so easy and the fact that you're getting everything means the planning is also going to be super easy for you when it comes to putting these pieces together in your classroom. Alrighty guys, let me know down in the comments. How are you going to change your grammar instruction? Are you going to give this routine a try in your classroom? I promise, once you start, you're never going to want to go back. This is so worth taking that 10 minutes a day because it's going to make your life easier. Your students are going to master skills and don't worry, they'll be reminding you what day is coming up by the time they've mastered this routine. If you guys aren't already, please hit that subscribe button. We put out new content here every single week. I'd love to have you join our community here on YouTube. And last but not least, I hope you have a not so wimpy day. Bye.